This is Smarter Home Life's continuing coverage of CES 2017. I'm Joe DeKanzik. This time I'm going to focus on one of my favorite topics, smart lighting. 2017 is shaping up to have new varieties of smart lighting that can be controlled in multiple ways, a good thing for consumers. While the first two companies that I'm going to mention didn't exactly introduce smart lighting products at CES, their announcements were well-timed. In late December, LifeX announced that its brand new third generation A19 and BR30 bulbs had HomeKit hardware already on board and HomeKit compatibility would be enabled in February 2017 via a software update. LifeX said that it was still working with Apple to bring HomeKit functionality to its previous products and the new LifeX Z light strips, but doesn't have a timeline for them yet. LifeX smart lighting products are Wi-Fi based and don't require a hub or bridge for control. A few days later, Sylvania announced its brand new, no hub required, smart multicolor A19 LED bulb specifically made to, at least, work with HomeKit that would become available in early 2017. Sylvania already makes the Lightify series of Zigbee based smart lighting products. Nanoleaf was at CES showing off their Aurora color changing panels that you can connect into endless geometric designs and shapes. Sorry to sound a little bit like a fanboy, but this was the first time I've been able to see these in person and they are truly impressive, responsive, beautiful, and super thin. They went on sale in the fall, work with Android and iOS, and of course HomeKit, plus Alexa. IFTTT, and even DMX control coming soon, and they don't require a hub. New at CES, Nanoleaf introduced the Aurora Rhythm and also the Aurora Remote, a music visualizer module and physical remote control for the Aurora panels, both of which should become available this summer. Nanoleaf originally entered the lighting scene a few years back with their 3D printed, uniquely geometrical LED bulbs. Hmm, is there a theme here? Sangled, maker of multifunction lighting products, introduced a carbon neutral series of LED lamps named Element. Sangled will plant a tree for every Element bulb sold via their partnership with One Tree Planted. The Element Plus smart bulbs can be controlled via apps, Alexa, and even existing wall dimmers. And it wasn't quite all work at the Singled booth, as they're evidently big fans of ping pong. iLumi showed off their existing and new Bluetooth lighting products at their groovy Venetian suite, decked out with everything from LED bulbs to smart strips. Specifically, they showed off Google Home voice control. Go Packers. So it'll be great for, you know, parties where you're having friends over. Uh, and in fact, you know, with the if trigger, you'll be able to use something like uh, the ESPN app where it actually triggers those things whenever they score. Or those things. Now, you might ask how that's possible with Bluetooth only products. Well, they're soon to launch a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge to handle connections to smarter home systems. First, it will be just Google Home with IFTTT, but there are plans to connect other systems in the future. Finally, their new smart strip product with nifty effects and individually addressable LEDs is soon to ship to backers and is available for pre-order now. And it's one of the few light strip products that is rated for outdoor use. Zmodo added two new smart lighting products to its Torch series of security-minded devices as part of their impressive rollout of new smarter home products. Torch 360 is a smart light that can display millions of colors along with white light and contains a rotating wide-angle camera with 360 degrees of motion detection. Torch Panorama is a BR30 indoor color changing floodlight with an embedded wide angle camera and motion sensor. Both new products are Wi Fi based and connect to the Zmodo Cloud for secure access to video recordings as well as live viewing, but they don't yet connect with other smarter home systems. Zmodo is working to roll out these new products soon. 
Smart lighting startup Cube was also at CES 2017, showing off their Wi-Fi smart bulb and smart light strip. Cube is currently shipping their crowdfunded Wi-Fi color-changing smart bulb to backers, which is the least expensive smart bulb of its kind on the market at less than $30. Their new Wi-Fi smart light strip, expected to ship in March, is also priced at less than $30 and has built-in colorful effects and is also outdoor rated. Both products have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for connections to voice control, smarter home systems, and proximity-based automation via your smartphone and wearable devices. And last but certainly not least, Philips Hue took over an entire sky suite at the Aria and invited me for a personal tour. Believing that seeing is understanding on how light affects a space and our lives, and how it can add a high-end look and ambiance to a home, the Hue crew replaced as many light bulbs as they possibly could with Philips Hue products. And they sprinkled a few light strips, dimmers, taps, and motion sensors throughout. Of course, I didn't need convincing about the benefits of flexible lighting. Right, you want lights to do things for you. I think a really powerful use case is um, that everybody's moment where they have to wake up in the middle of the night, right, and you want to navigate the house. Your options historically have been navigate in, in the dark, hope you don't stub your toe, yeah. or turn on the lights and wake up yourself and everybody else that's around. The sensor actually knows what time of day it is, so... But it was walking. still impressive to be in a nearly all Philips Hue space and witness how all of the lighting smoothly adjusted to each scene while transforming the look of each room. Beyond their suite that had Hue with a view, okay, I'll stop with the puns, Philips gave me a sneak peek of a few upcoming Hue products for 2017. Being a flush mount brushed aluminum fixture that shines at up to a bright 2400 lumens of light. Wellness and Wellner are glass accent lamps that brighten to 800 lumens of light. And not displayed in the Hue Suite is Fair, a 3000 lumen fixture that comes in multiple mounting styles. All of the new fixtures have Hue white ambiance built in and produce a full spectrum of white light from warm to cool. These new lights will be available in the second quarter of this year. For what else might be coming this year, Philips says it's working on continued overall improvements to the Hue ecosystem and the user experience. That's it for this particular video on CES 2017. Subscribe to Smarter Home Life on YouTube and check out smarterhomelife.com for more news, product reviews, and helpful information on life in the smarter home.